is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going for a pov drive in the 2018 audi rs3 one of my all-time favorite cars of course before we hit the strip i'm gonna do a little walk around i'm gonna go over the car the mods what the rs3 is all about and then as i say we'll go hit the road so enjoy all right so you join man back at the unit looking a bit misty out here today not gonna lie a pant for black i think they call it metallic crystal effects pant for black bro let me tell you this is a black car like you know some of these m3s some of these bms they they, they say they're black but you know they're like a dark blue or almost like a purple bro this is black and tell me is she not looking bad 10 out of 10 i'll give this i reckon this is the ultimate spec exactly how i'd want to spec my rs3 darkened tail lights wasn't too sure about these but in the flesh it's she looks really really nice fully blacked out man you've got the black motec alloys dark and tail lights tinsel round bro is this not the one so i always said to myself that if i'm going to do an rs3 for you guys to win it's got to be one that i would want myself and this is it a 2018 lci which means it's got the dazza 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder engine it's actually around 27 kilos lighter than the pre-lci rs3 it's an absolute different beast like you've got tuned suspension as i say 27 kilos lighter it makes for a much better handling rs3 look any rs3 is good but this one is another level and paired up with these ultra lightweight alloys you get a much lighter feel when you're driving the car when i was younger man it was all about you know what i mean bang for your bucks that slap a stage one stay to tune but let me tell you lightweight wheels decent tires better brake pads go have a big brake kit if you can better suspension man like it's all about braking later maintaining speed around corners man like you can have all the power you want but this car has got some sweet mods so as i say one of my favorite cars man it's got the five cylinder engine sounds absolutely beautiful we've got the sports exhaust from factory this is a factory option from audi it's got some black optics pack i assume it may be the tints i've never owned an rs model so i've never really had to research into what these optional extras are but we've got a full maximum body kit i'll show you a little close up on these wheels you can see Motec 19 inch finish, finishing satin black. We've got Mitchell and Pilot Sport 4S tires. Best tires you can get on the road, really. Love the smart little red Quattro badge there. It's sitting on H&R lowering springs as well. It is a little bit busy than your standard RS3, but I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of adaptive suspension that this car's got. Look at the front, bro. The car is mad. Let me tell you, this car is an absolute beaut. So yeah, it stays to tuned, 515 horsepower, uh, tuned by a company called Dyno Spectrum. It's like a plug-in module, which you install the application on your phone. I didn't do it, but there's a box and like instructions and stuff in there. But yeah, apparently 515 horsepower, switchable maps. There is an ethanol map as well, so it can run 600 brake horsepower. Of course, we're in the UK, which means you can't buy ethanol at the pump but you can buy barrels of ethanol. There's loads of tuning companies that sell it. So if you fancy running 600, which is 85 horsepower more, it's nuts. Like this car is an absolute beast. Seven speed dual clutch transmission, of course. Quickly have a little look. You can see we've got the flat bottom steering wheel, virtual display, all your map comes up on there. It's, look, it's, all, it's all literally digital, man. It's so sick. And it is in immaculate condition. We've got the diamond stitch leather seats. They're heated. Of course, we've got air conditioning, electric windows. The gearbox is absolutely rapid it's running a stage two tune also the boxes are in the glovey there but it's a nice 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 cabin man i've been dailing this one for a couple of days and bro this is like this is the ultimate daily without fail some of you may not know i was supposed to build an rs3 instead of my gtr that was the original plan the original plan was to build a craziest rs3 in the country i ended up going with the gtr instead last second I'm trying to think what else on this car guys there's so many so many mods it's got a decat downpipe upgraded uh, intercooler, panel fill ties, got NGK spark plugs, so many bits that I'm gonna have missed guys. But look, let's waffle, let's go hit the road. I'm gonna show you what this car's like to drive, so let's go. Right, let's do this people. Man, just got a little, little protein. This is like some super, super dead one now, but you know what? We ain't got time to go home and make the proper thing. We've got our coconut water. Man got two and two fruits down there. And we're good. We filled up 30 pounds, two pounds, 13 people a litre. <laughs> Bro, every car I have has to have V power. Let's start the car. Where's the key, mate? I think I've got the key here somewhere. Yep, yeah, here she is. Almost free in that. Oh, hell. Have a listen. You know what? Let's, let's, do, let's do that again, eh? How about that? 
have a listen. 30 squid, oh, 30 squid got us about half a tank. That's not too bad to be fair. Let's go windows down. It might get a bit of wind noise for you lot. So what we do is we firstly pull it into spot and then we slap it to the side and then it, have a listen, opens up the exhaust valves. Have a listen. Yeah, boy. Oh my days, are you being serious, bro? They locked off the whole route. Let's go. Shit, I went into neutral. Fucking <laughs> on my buzzer, bro. I went into neutral, man. What am I doing? You know what it is? You you, you jump in the uh, the M140. You gotta go um, down to go up, up to go down. The Audis is the other way around. Down is down, up is up. So as I've said to you lot many times, I like to manually shift. Uh, with these gearbox but anyway onto the car man rs3 driven a few of these on the channel i'm telling you this car bro the front end it's like a flipping m3 any m car guys you'll love an rs3 front end wise of course four wheel drive quattro system it's still i mean i'm not sure how it works i'm sure it's going to be a bit more dedicated than than the whole decks in the golf r's but it's a whole different feel man feels way more planted very very special car to drive the steering wheel is so light and that's going to be helped because of those lightweight wheels but bro look at this are you crazy bro this car is planted man Wee. <laughs> oh, shit. man it's so light on its feet bro this is like another level man the way the turbos fall up versus the pre-generation rs3 that had the 5v engine so the pre lci engine to this this has obviously got the lighter, uh, Dazza. It is a reworked engine from what I've heard. Yeah, it's almost like you, you could say it's not as quick because it puts it down so well. Like, don't get me wrong, it's an absolute flying machine. But it's just easy performance, very easy performance. And I can imagine this being an easy car to crash as well. But yeah, 2.5T, five cylinder guys. And uh, just a quick plug uh, for those that are not aware, if you're new to the channel, you can actually win this car for £1.99. So this Sunday, 10.30, somebody will be winning this car 100% for literally £2. No joke, I do a live draw, LNF games, you probably see the banner in the background on the board. That is my competition platform. And as I say, every single Sunday, the tickets are usually about a pound, but on this one, we did a bit higher because the car probably costs double what we usually pay for a car. But yeah, ticket links in the description, get involved, man. Just a reminder, it's running a, a Dino Spectrum tune, putting out 515 horsepower, not too sure on the torque. These are around 396 horsepower from uh, factory. You've got the seven speed dual clutch transmission mission which has also been tuned tvs i think it is uh, there must be different levels to it they just up the clamping pressure right we're somewhere a bit more familiar now wow it really builds up at the top end and, and dino spectrum they are um, a really good company from what i remember bro absolutely stuck different level to the pre-generation it's too fast it's one of them cars that you're gonna get into trouble because if you're into driving, it's a car that's very capable. So for you to be satisfied as a driver, you've got to drive this car really, really fast, which is obviously really, really illegal. Whereas like the pre-gen RS3, awesome car, has some awesome mods that one did, but you can sort of get onto its limits a lot quicker and it will satisfy you. You know you've pushed the car to its limits, but this car, it just keeps to front end is another level on this. Uh, the Golf R's are really, really good cars, but this is even better. Broski, the brakes are ridiculous. And these H and R lowering springs, they haven't kind of ruined the ride. Like we are very, very low. The wheels are filling up those arches, but it's not too bad for you here. We've got the Maxton body kit. Makes the car look extra aggressive. Let's get a window up because you lot probably can't even hear nothing. Broski. You have to drive one to understand how bloody good it is. But also got remember we've got the Michelin PS4S tires man, literally the best tires on the market really. That turbo instant. 
sorry guys, I'm proper bumming the RS3 right now. Apologies, man. I know all my Beamer guys are sitting there like, man, you told man to get an M140 though, guys. You told man to get an M3. And now you're telling man's got to get an RS3. Brav. Yeah, this car is fire. Fire for them. Yeah, you can sort of, you can take the piss a bit. As in, you know, you've got the brake in, you know the car responds quick, short wheelbase, it just changes direction so quick. It's got everything, it has got everything. I mean, on track, could be a different story. And as I say, when you do drive these to the limit, you know, when I drive a car to the limit, I'd prefer a rear wheel car. Do you know what I mean? I like to know that there's no power going through the front wheels and I've just got full control over those rear wheels. So these cars, it's like, you've almost got to be even more skillful. I don't know, I just feel like when an all wheel drive, four wheel drive car goes wrong, it can go really wrong. I like to know, cause I know how the rear wheelers work. I know how to sort of respond to it. Whereas the four wheel drive, like the R35, like these cars, when they go out, it's, you don't know where it's sending power. It's sending power to any Will. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, it's technology looking after you. Whereas a rear wheeler, it's just power going through two wheels. Obviously, you've got the LSD, but it's just down to you. Can't believe it, man. Cannot believe how capable this car is. Different level. Yeah, I wonder what the Nürburgring lap times are on something like this. Uh, even so, a short circuit, this car's going to be a big, big problem. <laughs> no, bro. Yeah, under braking, obviously, we was turning slightly then. Feel it sort of almost jump to the side, but I am being aggressive with the brakes. You've got to be smooth on it, yeah. If I go. What the F does it rev to? <laughs> Nailed to the ground, nailed on its line. Scary car, it scares me. These kind of cars scare me, man. They're just too bloody capable. Do you know what I mean? So you gotta drive the out of them to like, to be happy. Like, yeah, man. I like to know that I got the max out of a car. Do you know what I mean? This, you, you can't, it's difficult. It's difficult to get the max. I mean, yeah, feedback. We're not got like tons and tons of it. But what car does have feedback? Do you know what I mean? None of these cars have feedback anymore. You know? Anyway, that is enough of Ricky waffling. I promise you I'm gonna let you go now. So guys, I am gonna end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, remember, somebody will be winning this exact car for £1.99 p this Sunday at 10.30. Every single Sunday, I'm doing giveaways. They're usually 99p, but this one, obviously, we spent a bit more on this car, so we thought, you know, we don't want too, too many entries. We want to keep the odds kind of okay-ish. So we had to do £1.99. And most of these winners, they buy 10 tickets. It increases their odds dramatically. They get 10 randomly generated numbers, which gives them 10 chances. So, um, yeah, I mean, ticket link's in the description. The car is absolutely 10 out of 10. Love this car today. If you probably seen my reaction, kind of blown away, man. Left me a little bit speechless. Yeah, guys, I have got some other cool content coming soon. I know it's all been a lot of um, LLF games, POV drives, but I have got my M140 going in to get dissected any second. And then we've got the GTR. I've got to give you an update on the Civic. Mate, there's just so much going on. But right now, yeah, we're trying to pattern a couple of things, man. I know I've been quiet, very, very quiet, but we're working hard in the background, guys. Don't be confused. We're still here, guys. Anyway, we're out, people. Hey, oh, we've got a winner. We, Chris Robinson. Just How you doing, Chris? Is that Chris Robinson? Oh mate, it's Ricky at LLF Games. This is mental. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. Right, so guys, we have the winner, Chris Robinson. How you doing, mate? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm buzzing, honestly. <laughs> this is mental. So you didn't want to take the cash? No. You want to take the car instead, yeah? Yeah, I want to keep the car, definitely. Yeah. You was after M140 as well, you said you was going to buy one. Yeah, E92. Oh, oh E92, sorry. Sorry. you say you bought 100 tickets? 100 tickets, 100 yeah. tickets, so some investment. <laughs> <laughs> have you entered comps before? or? Not like this, so I've done the uh, E92 with yes, you last you week. Yes, you said. So only a few times you've entered and you've got yourself literally wow unbelievable sounds sick in it <laughs> well chris off in his m140 wicked nice one chris
down like speed hump no. Keep up when I speed up no. See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See a girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules disappear